Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here for Boris Effects, and I'm back again with another lesson. And this time, we're talking Mocha Pro 2020 inside of Avid Media Composer, and how Media Composer editors are going to get some extra added benefit out of the new Mega Plates feature if they utilize it inside of BCC Pan and Zoom or BCC Title Studio. All right, so as you can see, we are in Media Composer. This is the most current version of Media Composer. And I already have the Mocha Pro 2020 effect applied to our shot. And I want to get rolling by talking about not a new feature inside of 2020, but one that I think deserves a little look nonetheless, and that is the magnetic tool. We've had access to it for a little while now. And what I want to do is I want to step into effects mode, Shift and Y. If you don't have it mapped, don't worry. You can always find it right here at the top of your timeline. And we're going to launch Mocha Pro. Now, before I get in and show you the magnetic tool, I want to talk about a couple other things just to sort of intro it. The first thing that I want to talk about is two shortcuts that you'll be utilizing a lot of inside of Mocha Pro. And that is the Z key and the X key. You know, handily enough, they happen to be beside each other on the keyboard. The Z key for zooming. And obviously, based on where you click and drag is where you will zoom into. And once you've zoomed into the distance you'd like to have your viewer at, you can simply hold the X right beside it to pan your image around. This is pretty much your go-to shortcuts inside of Mocha Pro, and really any flavor of Mocha for that matter. Now, of course, we've been talking about the magnetic tool, and that does beg the question, how do we get in and draw shapes previously inside of Mocha? Now, I say previously, but the magnetic tool is just another tool that you have in your toolbox to get in for certain situations, whether it's Roto, whether it's the example I'm going to show you now. It's just a really quick and simple tool to use because Mocha is going to do most of the work for us. Now, how we're accustomed to getting in and drawing shapes is with either the X-Spline tool, which we have a little bit of ability to get in and adjust curves in, or what we can do is utilize the Bezier tool where we can actually get in and draw Bezier curves just like such. And of course, adjust them after the fact by simply holding Command or Control on the keyboard based on the operating system that you are on. Now you'll see, because I have two vertices selected, that's why two of them are being adjusted right now. Now let's get in, let's delete that layer, and let's talk about the magnetic tool that's located right beside it. So I'm simply going to click and hold on the magnetic tool, and you'll see here we have access to two tools, the magnetic tool and the freehand tool. But what's very cool is that we can actually get in and work with the freehand tool while we're working with the magnetic tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to draw around the edges of our arc here. And I'm simply going to click and just start coming along here. What's very cool is the fact that I don't need to get in and trace all the way around. I can simply drag the mouse over and you can see that Mocha is going to do a lot of the work for me, which is one thing that I love about working with this tool. And at any point, I have the ability to click and hold and to draw with the freehand tool. Now, we're of course going to delete this as soon as I draw because that's way too many points there at the bottom. So let's just select all of these vertices that were added in here. I'm just going to select them and I'm going to hit delete. Now let's get in, let's clean this up just a little bit here. So I'm just going to select that point. We will delete it. And what I'm actually going to do with this point right here is I'm going to put it right about there because you're probably familiar with how you're going to get in, whether you've worked in After Effects or even in Media Composer when getting in and cleaning up a roto like this. You're going to grab the vertex or the vertices and start moving them around wherever you need them to go. Okay. However, inside of Mocha Pro, we have the ability to get in and to select any one of these vertex or vertices and simply have it snap to the edge that Mocha is going to think that it needs to snap to by simply holding Option or Alt on the keyboard and hitting the S key. S is in save. So remember, we're not command or controlling S to actually save this. We are option or alting S to snap that vertex to the closest edge. A very, very handy feature to have access to, especially with a magnetic tool to quickly get in and to adjust your shape. Now, of course, you can select any one of the vertices and simply command or pardon me, option or alt and S to get in and snap it like I had just done. 
Now let's talk a little bit about color inside of Mocha Pro. Now this really isn't relevant to Media Composer, only because in our case, Media Composer is doing all of the color management for us. However, Open Color I.O. is a new feature inside of Mocha Pro specifically for the standalone version that as you can see is not only going to let you get in and adjust your images color space or at least tell Mocha Pro what your images color space is, but also get in and set the viewer's color space as well. An exceptionally handy and essential feature to have, especially in visual effects workflows. You can access it from the drop down over here on the right hand side of the interface or you can navigate over here to view, come down to viewer preferences and access it that way as well. All right. So let's now close Mocha Pro. I'm going to, well, I can save this. Sure. Why not? And let's now get in. Let's talk a little bit about the new tool that we have access to inside of Mocha Pro 2020. And that is the area brush. Now the open color IO that I talked about is a brand new feature inside of Mocha Pro 2020. Again, like I said, more so for the standalone version as opposed to working with it inside a media composer. But what the area brush is going to let us do, and let me just launch Mocha Pro, is it's going to let us draw shapes faster than we ever have before. Now, how are we going to get in and utilize this tool? Well, for example, if I wanted to get in and draw an edge around my phone so that we could get in and track that very quickly and very easily, we could get and use the X tool to get in and start drawing the shape we want. Or I can come right here to the area brush. Now I'm simply just going to grab, drag, right like such, right down to here, and boom, I'm done. Okay. Until I actually get in and select one of the other tools, I can still work with the area brush. For example, if I needed to make an adjustment, or if I'd come in here and made too much of a shape over here on the right hand side, I can simply hold Option or Alt to have the ability to get in and erase the part of the brush stroke that I had added that I don't want. Now, adjusting the size of the brush, very simple. I'm going to use the left and right square brackets. You'll see the left square bracket is going to shrink it down. Right square bracket is going to enlarge it in size. And let's now just come over here. I'm just going to select the selection tool. And now you'll see that we now have this shape drawn around the edge of the phone. Now, don't worry about the fact that there's all these points because it really doesn't matter how many vertices we have. I could now simply come in and hit track and we would be all set to go. And much like when we got in and talked about the magnetic tool, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab one of the vertexes here, vertices, and I'm going to hit Option or Alt and S on the keyboard. And you'll notice that it snaps right to that edge right there. So the same functionality works across the different brushes inside of Mocha Pro. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to close out of this example because I've already gotten in and tracked the example here. Let's just launch Mocha Pro. And I'm just going to come in here. Let me just select my screen replacement just so that I can turn that off there. Perfect. And what I want to show you is the actual track layer that I did with the area brush. There it is right there. And you'll see, and to be honest, you saw this in the intro, how rock solid that track was. That track was basically created or the track area that we were going to get in and track was created with the area brush in about three seconds. And Mocha Pro then did all of the heavy lifting right after that. Okay. So let's now get in. Let's talk about the last new feature inside of Mocha Pro 2020. And it's a good one for Media Composer editors. And it's a good one in a very different way than you might think that you would work with a set extension parameter inside of Mocha Pro. What this is going to give us the ability to do, the Mega Plates feature is it's going to give us the ability to create images that we're going to be able to work with inside of two different effects inside of Continuum 2020. And I'm talking specifically about BCC Pan and Zoom and BCC Title Studio. So let me show you how this is going to work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to the Mega Plate setup. Now I'm just going to remove the Mocha Pro effect. I'll hit Command or Control and 8 on the keyboard. You'll see that I had called it up previously. And what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to switch over to a UHD project because this image is actually 3840 by 2160. So let's switch the project over. And once the project has switched over, I'm going to hit Shift and Y to call up effects mode to work with Mocha Pro on this clip. 
And now you'll see that what we have is basically just a tilt up of this Lady Justice. Now, we know that this is a statue. And I kind of gave this a little bit away in the intro. We know this is a statue because we can see it, but what I would really like is to have the entire statue basically available for us to use as a single image. Now, the examples you've probably seen of mega plates is taking, you know, buildings that there was tilt downs of and creating set extensions. Well, this is a great thing for us to use inside a media composer in an example of let's say you had a camera operator had taken a shot and they were tilting up and down on a map and you really wish that you had that map as an entire image for you to then get in and pan and zoom around or to get in and maybe add titles to to get in and create an animation inside a title studio well this is where mega plates is going to come in super handy for media composer editors now what i'm going to do is just come right back to the beginning here and how we're going to set this up is a little bit like this i'm just going to grab the rectangular tool and i'm going to draw a fairly large area around our shape here now let's just see uh that's probably pretty good and what i'm now going to do is i'm going to come in and i'm going to turn off shear rotation and scale because to be honest i really only care about the y position change that's going to be happening to our statue. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set the minimum percentage of pixels used to be 25, because I'd really rather that this goes, you know, as quickly as possible for the example that we are creating. So what I'm now going to do is to simply get in and say track. Now what's important to keep in mind is that your mileage will vary based on uh, the type of footage you're working with, the size of the footage. In this case, I have the footage linked to, so it's not an actual clip inside a media composer. So keep all of those factors in mind. And I'm going to be back in just a second to show you what this is going to look like when our track is done. All right, and we are back. And as you can see, what Mocha Pro has done is it's tracked this entire image. Now, what's important to keep in mind about what has actually happened here is that every frame has been processed by Mocha Pro for it to rebuild this video clip as a single still plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to about the 200 mark only because it's an easy number to remember. And I'm just going to repan everything out. That's about halfway through the move. And we're going to head on over to the mega plates section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down. I'm going to turn auto step on, but I'm going to leave the blend amount set as zero. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say render current frame. Now, what's important to keep in mind again, like I had mentioned before, is that this time is going to vary based on the size of the footage that you're working with, you know, because obviously the larger the image or the larger the frame size, Mocha Pro is going to be processing each one of those frames separately. So we are working in a UHD project. And what I'm going to do is just speed the process up just a little bit for the purpose of our recording here. And you'll see that now that it's done, it's actually created a single entire image for us. Now, I'm going to zoom in here because what I need to see here is that if I tilt up you'll notice that we have some banding going on here which is not going to help us because this will obviously be very noticeable in whichever of the other plugins that we're going to utilize this final image in that's where the blend amount comes into play what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go a bit crazy i'm just going to set that to be 50 and i'm going to come back down and i'm going to reprocess this effect now again I am going to speed it up just for the purposes of time here. And again, the faster your system, the faster this will be processed in. You'll now see that the mega plate is super smooth, super clean. And if I just tilt down, this image is actually perfect. Now, what I would do at this point is I would simply navigate over here to the file dropdown. I would come down to export rendered clip. Now, the reason I picked frame 200 is because it's an easy frame to remember and I could export this as a JPEG image, as a PNG file, whichever I needed to export this as. And what I want to point out here, I'm just going to close Mocha Pro. I'm not going to save and I'm just going to hide out of Media Composer. And as you can see on the desktop, I have that image that we exported from Mocha Pro 
But more importantly, if I command or alt and tab into Photoshop and I head into image and go to the image size, take a look at how big this mega plate is. It's 3847 by 6895. So it is absolutely massive. Now, obviously, keep in mind again, like I said, this is because the image was originally Ultra HD. But just having the image this size gives us a ton of flexibility inside of Avid Media Composer. Let me just Command or Alt and Tab back into Media Composer. And I'm just going to come down to the Mega Plate example number one for Continuum's Pan and Zoom. Now I'm just going to switch back to a single monitor layout. And you can see here that what we have the ability to do, if you take a look in the upper right hand corner, I've purposely left preview mode on is that we have the ability to get in and just to do some unbelievable moves on this image. And again, like I said, if this was a map, we could start down here. Maybe we're talking about the sword for a little bit. Then maybe we're talking about the scales of justice, moving all the way up to the fact that justice is blind. You could then easily take pan and zoom and just swoop across this huge image to create some very, very smooth, realistic, and cool effects. And to take things to the next level, you'll see that if I come to my example number two of Title Studio, you can also just step into effects mode and launch the Title Studio user interface, bring in this larger than HD image into Title Studio. You'll actually see it right here. And what I did just for the purposes of time is I got in and I actually was able to utilize transformation parameters for Title Studio outside the application to create a very simple but very effective animation literally in no time flat. All right, so I hope this lesson has shown you that Mocha Pro 2020 is a very welcome update to this awesome, awesome application. And even though Megaplates might seem like it's a tool just for compositors, you as an editor have a ton of flexibility to work with it inside of effects from Continuum 2020 inside of your Avid Media Composer timelines. Now, don't forget, if you subscribe to Mocha Pro, you can download the 2020 update absolutely free right now. And for more great training, don't forget to check out the Boris FX YouTube channel. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.